For more than 100 years, the St. Louis Zoo has been helping people fall in love with animals. That's a little cutie. But now, with so many of the animals it displays becoming endangered, the zoo is feeling pressure to shift its focus from exhibition to conservation. We're, in many respects, the last group of conservation organizations that are really interested in conserving species. Jeffrey Bonner is the president of the St. Louis Zoo. At the moment, only a small fraction of the zoo's budget goes directly toward conservation. With thousands of species in danger, he says that brings new challenges. So this is one of our little boys right here. For Shauna Shute, it means using unpaid interns to help care for her brood of 4,000 critically endangered Ozark hellbenders. It was a lot of pressure to get it done because I felt like you know, if I didn't make it happen or if I failed in some way that I was going to be responsible for the extinction of this species. The choices are tough. Primate curator Ingrid Portone is phasing out the aging macaque population and focusing on lemurs because the zoo has more of them to breed. There's only so much space. There's only so many species that we can work with. Zoos today have a limited amount of resources in order to uh, tackle the conservation challenges that they face. Steve Monfort runs the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. The 3,200-acre facility is closed to the public. To keep up with the pace of extinction, he says, zoos need to invest in facilities that are designed to study animals, not just display them. Having the space and the facilities that you need to be able to do those studies is just um, super important. You're okay, buddy. <laughs> but for preservation efforts to succeed, Bonner says public support will be critical. I think you can't have one without the other. You can't have uh, a dramatic expansion in research and conservation unless you have an interested, involved, motivated public behind you. And behind the animals they hope to save. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.